Find the value of x if a linear function goes through the following points and has the following slope. So here are the two points, and here is the slope. All right. So now remember, um, a linear function is defined all right, by its slope and its y-intercept. Now, we know the formula for slope. Right, we know that the formula for slope is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. And a very useful idea, problem solving strategy, to always keep in mind, especially in mathematics and a lot of the harder sciences. And when I say hard, I mean more mathematically based. I don't mean, you know, psychology is just as hard, just not usually as much math. Um, so wasn't bashing, wasn't bashing any other social, more, more or less social sciences. Um, so Anytime you have an equation and you have one unknown, you can always solve that equation for that unknown. And you use algebra to do that. So it's a very, very useful strategy. So when I'm given something like this, and I know I have two points, and they give me the slope, what automatically pops into my mind is my slope equation. Why? Well, because the slope equation tells me that the slope will be equal to the change in two points, basically. These are both two points. So I'm going to start plugging in this stuff into this equation, okay? Now remember, they gave us two points. Now it doesn't matter what you call your first point or your second point. Since this one's on the left, I'm just gonna call it the first point. So this would be my x1 and that would be my y1, right? That's how the ordered pairs are organized. And then this would be my x2 and then that would be my y2. Okay, so let's plug it in. So the slope they told us is three. The y2 value I defined to be six. The y1 value, so minus the y1 value I defined to be two. Then divide it now by my x2 value, which is negative four. And then minus the x1 value, which I defined to just be x. Now look, this is beautiful. Should be jumping up and down, right? Because this is one equation with one unknown and we can solve it. You know the answer now, you just got to do some algebra, that's it. So why don't we first uh, simplify this a little bit. So 3 will be equal to 4 over negative 4 minus x. And now what I realize is I'm basically going to do a cross multiplication, okay? So we'll put 3 over 1, and we'll go bing, bam, boom, right? Cross multiply, and it's going to be then, I'll write it over here. So I'll write it up at the top a little bit. So there's going to be 3 multiplied by negative 4 minus x is all equal to then 4. All right, so distribute the 3 now to each of those two terms in the parentheses. So we have negative 12 is going to be uh, minus then 3x equals then 4. I have to solve for 3x, so you got to get everything away from it. So why don't you add the 12 on over to the right-hand side? And when you do that, that cancels, right? So now it's negative 3x is equal to, this looks like 16. And then dividing out now 3 from both sides, right? We're going to now get, so dividing negative three on out, we're going to get x, and we can represent this as a fraction if we wanted, right? You can leave it as 16 over three. Uh, that's totally fine. That would be the answer, negative 16 over three if you wanted, negative 16 over three. The other way uh, to have looked at it would be to write this as a decimal. It doesn't really say what we need, but you know, in terms of a decimal now, this would be about five, and you can plug that into the calculator. This would be negative 5.5, uh, excuse me, 5.3 repeating, right? Because it's basically a third more than five. So it doesn't matter, whichever one you wanted, um, they're both, they both should be right. All right, so guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Hopefully this wasn't too bad, all right? And this is a very important thing to know, especially when you're solving for linear equations. Uh, all right, great. If you can subscribe, fantastic. That'd be awesome. It's totally free to subscribe, right? Just hit that subscribe button and that's it. Helps us out tremendously though, all right? So if we provided any value to you, it'd be an awesome, awesome way to give back if you were looking to give back because we get a whole bunch of comments about, hey, you know, I want to give back. And the best thing you could do is literally just subscribe and tell your friends about us. That's all we ask. All right. So thank you so much. I really hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye.